morning. Um, today is Monday, the 27th. I hope everyone's day is going really well. Um, yeah. It's so like wet on me. It's okay. It's just water, and it's a little bit. It's just drizzles. Thank you. 
gonna do my stretches but I'm not gonna do that on camera but I have like a couple things that I want to talk to y'all about okay some things that just like on my mind a little bit um let's start with the mom I'm gonna start with like the mom thing the mom thing is um mom guilt and how much I just like resent the phrase period like I hate the fact like okay this is what sprung this on right so there's a video on TikTok of a lady, it's like an example video. There's a video of a lady and her husband and she has maybe like two or three kids, right? They're out to eat at a restaurant and mom is feeding herself, the other kid, the baby, and maybe even like the other kid. It looks like it's maybe like four under four, that type of situation, like five under five. She's feeding all the kids. God, I hope y'all can hear me. And dad just gets like, dad gets to just eat his food peacefully and quietly and i hate the fact that we like make that such a normal thing especially in a two-parent household i just feel like well these are your kids sir the same way i do the most for them you should be doing the same too like there was there would never be an instant where i'm in a two-parent household and i'm doing majority of the work mom or not i like i don't really like i see the little street videos where they're like they um interview like guests on the street right and it's the mom and the dad and they ask the dad who is your daughter's um who is your daughter's best friends who when is your daughter's birthday dad knows nothing dad doesn't know the dentist the teacher nothing i will say like shout out to the men who are super active in their children's life but i feel like in that instant that's such a lazy depiction of like uh, an active father or just like how the household dynamic is like okay if that's your situation um I, not one to judge but I think that like that's not it's not fair in any kind of way like to have this kind of mom guilt thing and be like well I can't go out because of my kid or like oh I can't just step out of the house because of my kid but like dad gets to run to the bar real quick or dad gets to go out with his boys real quick but mom has to be like oh I, I left food in the fridge oh I bathed the kids before he left and here like here's it so easy like I'm going out see ya same way I make it work you can make it work and the thing I will also say ladies is like because you are two different individuals or I'll say moms because you're two individuals your father your husband's or spouse's parenting style is not the same as yours so don't expect like say if you leave the house don't expect dad to maybe cook a full course meal for them maybe he'll order pizza and they watch the movies and they're chilling everybody's babe everybody's safe but like to just be like oh I can't because I, I need to do this this and this before they leave I just feel like that's such a why does mom have to do the majority I feel like let's not normalize that that like mom guilt is mom has to do everything because she's mom it's like sir you lay down and made these kids too especially in a two-parent household for my single mothers obviously that's different but for the moms that have like hold yourself accountable for and I, I will say like enabling this situation to be that and not being like oh here's the confidence to be with your kids and learn about them and you know I, i'm like you know figure it out the same way i do as a mom as a parent the same way you can and all of this like oh i can't step out real quick because i'm a mom or oh, i can't do this because i'm a mom let's do it sunshine on me i just like the sunshine on me let me tell y'all something the sun is probably my favorite element my favorite i don't know if you guys can see me but y'all know that i'm here i don't care if there's a shadow or anything like that like I'm basking in the sun and it feels really good. And the shadow. sun, a shadow, yes, that is my shadow. Your shadow's all the way down there. But the sun is my favorite element. I've literally had somebody ask me one time, what do you aspire to be in my life? And I told them the sun. And I was serious because the sun warms you, it's like warm, gives you life, gives you energy, gives you that sunny feeling I want to impact people's lives in that kind of way but anyway um the other thing that I want
wanted to talk about was this the the trends of social media I don't know if I'm getting older or if I'm just starting to realize that there are like more important things in life to focus on but like first it was like black girl TikTok black girl luxury black girl this black girl that luxury lifestyle lux Da, 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 da. Now it's clean girls, soft life, but like, and it's just like, um, I hate it. I hate the trendy stuff. I really, really do. I hate the trendy stuff because not only do I feel like it's, it kind of like separate. It's like a separation thing. Y'all try to like separate yourselves into this category, and not only that, I feel like more than I want to say I'm living a soft life. I want to embody the soft life. I'm overstimulated. It's all like the 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 world is oversaturated with the trendy lookity look look like whatever it is. If it's a saying, if it's a like the hoochie daddy short thing, y'all over like y'all overdid it. <laughs> um. So in regards to life, I have been learning in my 25th year. To take, um, I have been learning in my 25th year to take life slow. I would say even like within the past year, I have been one of those people like, I gotta get it by 30. I gotta get it by this age. I gotta get it by like this age. I gotta have this by this age. I gotta have that by this age. And I'm starting like, I seen this movie. I think it was called The Father of the Bride. And the father of the groom had this big old, he was rich. And it was old, 60, 50, and he was still able to enjoy the things that he had. And I just feel like for us to be such in a rush, like it's people in their 40s that probably feel better than I do at my, 20, at my 25th. Yes, I've been learning to take life slow. <laughs> um... Because I feel like I feel like and I have let the world rush me into things and I like was going nowhere fast um it's so funny because what I'm going through has literally like made me slow down um it's, and I appreciate that I'm gonna be grateful for that but um I've been learning to take life slow I've been learning to just be a gradual student at this thing called life. I have time. And not only that, the world will make you feel like you need to speed up. Like I feel like there's always something happening that number one, I can't control. I can't control what the president does. I can literally only control my household. Um, but there's so many events going on in the world that'll make you feel like you have to hurry up and rush to get this or get that or do this and do that um and I've stopped I've stopped letting the world making it seem like I have to rush to do all these things I feel like when you take your time obviously when you take your time and are thorough in the process you make space for exactly what's enough or exactly what's for you.